how good I really was until I ended up going to my first ever tournament. I'm currently ranked number one in Canada and number seventh in the world. Hi everyone. My name is Robert Gagno and I am currently a world pinball champion. <laughs> Artist stuff I like outside of pinball is doing circus st stuff as well, like juggling, trampoline, etc. And I'm excited to say that you have a speaker currently right here on stage speaking who happens to live on the autism spectrum. Well, I was diagnosed at approximately age three and remember being told how I spoke very little till about age eight and how people say it would feel very frustrating not being understood and not getting a message through. And then I remember being told how I used to like spinning in circles to Dire Straits music. <laughs> If anyone's wondering what the song actually was, it happened to be Twister by the Pool. <laughs> I found pinball helped relax me. I don't know why it relaxed me, I just don't know how to really answer that myself. And I remember the first time I was seeing pinball was when my dad would take me to a burger joint called Wally's Burgers. I wonder if anyone remembers all these burgers. I remember they had a game called Twilight Zone, where every time I put quarters in, I would plunge a silver ball onto the play field, shoot it around, hear some cool music playing, and see these really cool dot matrix animations. And at first I thought this was some high tech fancy toy you put money into. I got my first pinball machine at age 10 for my 10th birthday, Whirlwind, which you see right now in that photo. And as you notice, this machine featured an industrial fan on top. <laughs> and it actually blows actual air in your face. <laughs> and, this, and the nice thing about this game in the summertime was when it was hot, Kind of thing. This was a great game to cool down while playing, <laughs> especially while drinking a Slurpee to go with that. <laughs> well, no one knew how good I really was until I ended up going to my first ever tournament in Toronto, which was called the Canadian Pinball Championships in Toronto in 2008. And there, for my first ever tournament, I end up finishing 12th out of like 100 plus players for my first ever time. Wow. And at times I felt like a great achievement at the time. And when I got home from the Canadian Pinball Championships, I ended up deciding to doing some research on pinball tournaments and found people competed as far as Europe. <laughs> and all over the States people were competing against each other. And currently I'm in a world pinball ranking system. And in 2008, there were 3,000 registered pinball players worldwide. And currently this year, there are now 36,000 world ranked pinball players in the world. Whoa. Tournaments that I won this year were the US Nationals in Las Vegas. And just recently, this past September, the Northwest Championships in Bellevue. And I'm actually going to a tournament this Sunday at Shorty's down in Seattle. I'm currently ranked number one in Canada and number seventh in the world. <laughs> Pinball has helped me socialize over the years. It has helped me communicate more openly, finding people who have 
the same passion as me. Heck, I didn't even think before when I got discovered, people didn't even co compete in pinball and just played in arcades and all. <laughs> and the first tournament I actually got discovered at was at Popeye. And for those of you who's wondering what it stands for, it stands for Professional Amateur Pinball Association. <laughs> so, what is it like living on the spectrum? Well, if you think, for those who think I see everything in black and white, well, I see nothing in black and white. I actually see everything in color. <laughs> and colors brings out the emotions in me, I find, too. Why are labels bad, people say? Well, I think labels are bad because it's not fair when you judge someone by its cover when you first meet them. And if you judge labels by the cover, I find, you could be missing on a great opportunity and success that you could have had had you not judged them by the cover right at the start when you first met them. I consider myself more than a label. I consider myself a passionate player who has won 50 tournaments worldwide. <laughs> I don't, I don't want people to think I'm just autism. I want people to see someone who's like, wow, this guy's really good at this. <laughs> I didn't suspect someone with autism would really be this great at pinball <laughs> and be so hard to compete against. <laughs> Passion is important to me because it's what makes me who I am today. And I feel we all have a passion that we can all share with someone and build our own social network through it. And the fun thing is when you find someone who shares all these passions we have, we can create these events, get a group together who we all share these same passions that they all have that you share. Thank you very much, everyone. And hope you had a good time playing pinball in the lobby to <laughs> earlier today. Anyone play pinball in the lobby today? I apologize for breaking your breaker. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, no worries. <laughs> well, I say all of you to follow their passions and to not ever judge a book by its cover. And... Hope you all have been having a wonderful evening, everyone. Thank you.